Hello everyone, it's Kevin with the uh, Yak River Rails. Um, I was going to include the repair of this uh, little headlight on this little speeder that I got years ago at a swap meet. And that little headlight kept falling off, so I thought, well, I'm going to fix that once for all. I might as well video it. Well, sometimes the levels of frustration to do things like this aren't worth sharing, so I'm going to leave it at that. It's fixed. What I am going to share is how I remix my paint that's been sitting for a while. Uh, and uh, I'm sure it's not new, it's just a variation of other things people have done, but it's fairly simple to find the what you need to make this paint mixer. Anyway, I'll uh, show you here. So, if you have a Sawzall, and this is, happens to be an old uh, Ryobi 18 volt, I've had it for years, um, it's kind of my hobby saw now, but it's got the old style uh, blade holder which was like a pin with like a clamp over the top of it and an allen screw uh, a, a screw that has an allen head in it and what I do what I did quite a few years ago was found this 8 inch clamp these speed clamps and this one's by American Tool but what I did is I just drilled that hole out in the end that's already there that has a hole drilled in it and then right here, I file that out a little bit to match that inside the Sawzall. And I'll put it together real quick. It's okay. So that's mounted in there. And like I said, it's got that old style. And you could probably take this guard off too. I just I haven't don't haven't needed to. But you get a little more stroke out of this, you know. Um, for a bigger bottle, or rather bigger bottles, but you, know, you just speed clamp the bottle in there as is, and I'll just use a tester's bottle here because I happen to need just yellow paint, not a particular color. And I just put it in there. And as you can see, that paint in there, I mean, I don't know if this is going to do how much is in there, but whatever's in there, it will shake it up. I'll show you that. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'll open it up and we'll see. Oh yeah, nice and creamy. But these weathering paints, they'll fit in this particular size too. It's the other paint I usually a lot of. And these tend to get a little clumpy, but. Anyway, fairly simple to do, and I've been doing this for years. Works pretty good, and I'm sure you could put his, do a, the same kind of idea with a jigsaw. You know, uh, sawzalls. There's new styles of blade holders, but you get the general idea. Thanks for watching.